I knew going into the 2023 deer season that it was going to be a different one as we welcomed our first child into the family. I knew this meant I had to be home more. So I traded in my well-scouted piece that was three hours away for a brand new public spot closer to the house. I e-scouted and spent about two days with boots on the ground. I ended up setting a few cameras over the summer in hopes to find a deer I was happy to harvest. My first morning sit gave me some action. It's Saturday, September 16th. It's around 7 a.m. No deer yet. I did have one guy dive a little bit deeper into public here down in Maryland, but hey, he may have dived in a little too deep. So let's see what happens. I'm, I'm sitting here down in this hall right beside the stream behind me in between these two big laurel patches for bedding. Let's see what travels through. After three hunts after this buck without a single deer sighting and with hunting pressure all around, I knew how to switch things up. On the new dad's side, our baby must have known it was deer season, as she would wake up at 2am and not fall asleep until we held her. But this gave me the opportunity to get some new pins in for my next hunting opportunity. On one of those sleepless days after lunch, I decided to go check out those pins, so I loaded up the truck and headed south but I wanted to check a camera right off the road before I went somewhere new, and I'm so glad I did. Hey guys, I just got set up in this tree. I had here once before. I did jump some doe. Like they must have been bedded right below me, uh, but I did check a trail camera down here beside the scrape, and there was two buck on it. Uh, one I would definitely shoot during daylight, so I chose to sit here tonight and see what happens again. I am very close to the roads and also the parking lot. Here, I'll show you. Right there is my truck. So, we are close. There's the highway. The roads there, so. Let's see what's gonna happen. Hey guys, I just shot a buck, okay? Came in super quick. It was a, I don't know, 10 yard shot. He piled up right there, okay? Right there was impact, right here. And then literally he ran over here. He is laying right there, right there's the truck. Talk about a super easy drag. This is gonna be great. Yeah, baby, yeah!
All right, guys, right here's impact. You can see, I was sitting right there. You can see my steps. I was right there. Oh my God. Oh my God. My arrow should be laying right over here. There's my knock. So maybe he kicked. Now I heard him crash somewhere over here. Which he's probably hurt. I think I see a butt. Oh my god. Holy shit. Oh. Alright guys. There he is. There's my arrow. He broke that sucker off. Pretty good. There he is. Maryland seven point. Yes. All right, guys. I am all packed out here. I am walking back to the truck. I gotta go get reception because I have zero reception here. Give my wife a call. Or I say goodnight to Laurel uh, because uh, I'm not going to make it home before 7. I got a deer. Oh, it's just so good. Oh. So, ready? Right there's the truck. In that little thicket over there is my deer. After driving up the hill and getting parked, I was able to get reception to talk with my wife and daughter. Tell them I had a buck down. I realized while talking with them, I could make it home by seven if I rushed. So we hung up and I darted back to my buck. I got the buck field dressed, tagged, and drug him the last 40 yards back to the truck. I strapped him down and headed north. I knew I wanted to share this moment with Laurel, so rather than get any pictures of the buck in the woods, I hammered down. I pulled in the driveway right at 7 p.m. and captured this picture right before she went to bed. Sometimes it's more than the hunt. It's about sharing it with the people you love. This buck is not my biggest, but definitely ranks as one of my top hunts.